How many hours have your watches spent in space? Is a question that we get asked quite a lot. The answer? Hard to tell. The Forte space story started way before the moon landing. Already in 1962, Rolf Vogt, the son of the Forte's founder Walter Vogt, packed his bags and traveled to the US. He started introducing and establishing Fortis as the Space Watch. He equipped NASA astronauts with the Spacematic AR. The first watch to be utilized for space missions by Roscosmos was the legendary Cosmonauts Chronograph, a compact 38mm chronograph featuring a black dial and a high contrast supernova coated numerals, hour and minute hands. It was equipped with a safety velcro strap and put on the wrists of the Euromir crew. During this mission, the watch was tested during multiple EVAs in open space, withstanding the harsh conditions with no effect on its accuracy. Timeless by design, reliable by nature, the Fortis Cosmonauts chronograph stayed in the hearts of astronauts of the early Mir and ISS missions to this very day. After years of designing and iterating, according to feedback received from Russian astronauts, in 2003 a new version of the Cosmonauts watch was released, the B-42 Official Cosmonauts. The B-42 Official Cosmonauts is a watch that is carried as standard space equipment during multiple expeditions to the ISS. Astronauts have been wearing it both inside the station as well as outside of it. During activities that sometimes took more than five hours to complete, Excessive exposure to varying temperatures from minus 120 degrees in the dark to as hot as 120 degrees in the sunlight. Combined with the vacuum meant that the components of the watch were withstanding great stress. Despite it all, the watch kept performing exquisitely each and every time. It even once served as a hammer after a cosmonaut had forgotten his tools on the station. Now's the time for the next giant leap, Mars. Together with visionary organizations such as the Swedish Space Agency and the Austrian Space Forum, we have embarked on missions designed to test and prepare humans for life on Mars. Numerous simulations and tests have been conducted with the goal of analyzing the possible effects of Mars' environment on the first settlers. Fortis timepieces have been an essential tool used by all participants. The Mars 500 mission was a psychosocial isolation experiment conducted between 2007 and 2011 and Fortis was with the participants. MRD-18 was a field mission designed to gain operational insight from research conducted in a Mars-like environment. To support the mission, we created the MRD-18. After the successful 2018 Mars simulation in Oman, the Austrian Space Forum teamed up with the Israel Space Agency and DMARS, a space analog research center located in the Ramon crater of Negev Desert, to further understand benefits and constraints of human operations on other planets. The vast distance between Earth and Mars means there will be significant communication delays between mission control and the first explorers of the Red Planet. The radio signal can travel anywhere in between 3 minutes and 21 minutes, which means that a single message or response exchange can take up to 42 minutes. For the sake of efficiency, the participants of the MD-20 mission have tested a moderate delay of 10 minutes by utilizing the MD-20 chronograph functionality combined with a special marker on the mission control bezel. Check out our documentary from the MD-20 Mars mission. In addition to the visible functionalities, we also test our movements for space worthiness. That's why we've teamed up with the Swedish Space Center for a number of exciting tests in open space. That is Space Watch redefined.